In the past, collectors of art were forced to employ people with taste, rogues, in other words, to detect art for them. Well aware that this type of cultural dowser, having an eye, would be bound to keep all the best work for themselves. And there was very little they could do about it. Gerard. Counter art, however, seeks to be cons seeks to be oh God. Counter art. No, lift it up. Move it across and put it down. Counter art, however, seeks to be de seeks to deconstruct this oh I've had enough of this. Okay, here we go again. Counter art, however, seeks to deconstruct this class privilege by going beyond human detectors, constructing instead mechanical and electrical devices. This will ensure that at last we have a reliable and objective barometer of creativity with which to pinpoint all clandestine visual activities. In a recent television documentary explaining counter-art, Level 1, the curious framing of the opening shot about this new art movement raises the viewer's expectations as to the possibility of someone coming through that door. But, unexpectedly, it is from the foreground, from behind the camera, that an external action intrudes on the scene. It is typical of counter-art that even when it is explaining itself, however badly, it succeeds, if accidentally, in pushing art beyond its edges. The frame with the corners removed as well is, uh, is, is perfectly harmless. I think we can, allow, we, can, we can allow the frame to be 
to the cat view. They wouldn't have used uh, circular buttons, they would have been square. <laughs>